think our music like has a sense of space in it, mm. um, space, atmosphere, and location, and that they are all obviously yeah. <laughs> inherent in uh, sounds recorded in a certain space. So if you use you know amplification or EQ or compression in certain ways, you can kind of bring certain things to the fore, pull them back, move yeah. them around. So it's kind of like you can really play with the 3D quality. And then there's a question of amb ambiguity of sometimes a sound is recognisable but you're using it in a way that's not so yeah. obvious. We're happy that we have a palette of sounds that we can work with. Some of them will lend themselves much more to a kind of foreboding or, you know, yeah. uh, some of them might be more apocalyptic or some of them might yeah. be more dramatic and then some of them will be more calm and kind of you know, working with nature. And but I think that also lends itself well to the idea of making an album that's a more extended yeah. format where you can kind of explore the different emotions. This theme of water is such a unifying and connecting thing between every single human being in the world. Like we can't exist without it. It has been more emotional than I, than I thought in terms of senses of reassurance, senses of complacency in other places, senses of kind of earned trust in the way that people have been dedicating their lives to researching, to building these things. Thematically and sonically this kind of mm -hmm. is, a, is a nice step on from Tundra. This is really unrestricted as well, it's not like we have to write you know, anything within a certain genre or a certain style, I mean there's no you know, musical yeah, the, constraints to what we're doing. Like anything new, it's, it's equally exciting and kind of nerve-wracking as how do we actually incorporate all this into the music?